Previously on Sailing Seta, we enjoyed the beautiful Isla de Colatra and Alau, and we had a great time hanging out with all the cruisers. Our exit out of Colatra wasn't as relaxed as the time we spent there, but other than a lot of water pouring in, the boat didn't suffer damages. We finally arrived to Portimo. It wasn't the most comfortable sail, but here we are, anchored and nicely protected. Now it's time to get to work. We took the floorboards off and started the drying process. First tried to use the manual pump. After a few buckets I gave up. We turned on the petrol generator and the wet and dry vacuum. The bilge was dry in no time. Now that the work is done, it's time to relax. It's so shaky Saskia. <laughs> Are you struggling? I just started. To keep balance. We went on a pedal around the anchorage to check the rocks and the caves. They weren't as impressive as Vagos, but on the way something great happened. A boat passing by recognized us from Instagram. Uh-huh. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Although neither of us stopped, this wouldn't be the last time we saw them. The next day we visit Ferragudo. This town is right across Portimão and uh, it's so much more cozier and picturesque. We went there to get some food, to get some internet and to check out the town. If you follow us on Instagram, you might recognize Gerald the pizza box. When you go to Veracudo, you pass all the small fisher boats which are moored in front of the town. Then you secure your dinghy to the top of the ramp. It can be quite busy and with low tide the ramp is high, so bring a long line. Exactly. <laughs> It'll be on YouTube, that's for sure. Um, you start with this year? If you're just beginning in English, it's also okay. Uh, for what Excellent. it is, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, we just put some music on the net, so no one knows. <laughs> uh, generally, you have three cabs. In my bar, you don't have the third to go to the front. Meet Juan and Leticia. These guys were the ones who recognized us a few days before and got in contact through Instagram. Followers? Naturally, we invited them over to hang around for a day. We went for a dip in the water and enjoyed some food together, complemented with wine Juan brought from his family vineyard. By the end of the evening, we were karaoke and annoying everyone around the anchorage. A night very well spent. Saeta must be jealous of us having fun because for every nice day we need to work on her. We meet Jarvis, the autopilot. Poor thing was screaming for help. I opened it for inspection and maintenance before departing from Amsterdam, but it seems it wasn't enough. Since there wasn't anything obviously wrong with it, I took it to be serviced. The conclusion after inspection was that replacing some parts on Jarvis wasn't enough. Jarvis needed to be retired.
Since we do not want to do this trip without an autopilot, we order and install the new one. Our water maker was making a very uncomfortable noise. The best bet was to take it to a service point, of which there was one in Algarve. We called the company and they said they wouldn't be able to come to the boat. I'd have to get the equipment to them. Well, walking around with a water maker is never a good option, so we called Osmosi directly for some advice and technical support. They were very nice and explained exactly what I should do, and even made photos and videos specially for us. Such a brilliant support. Anyway, we were to take the whole top assembly apart in order to lightly grease the piston shafts and send the cylinders. It's quite nerve-wracking disassembling something that you put so much faith to keep you going. I slowly started the task. I ended up calling for support a few more times because some of the screws and fittings were so tight I thought I would break them, so needed reassurance it was all good. Eventually the whole thing was in pieces. After sanding and greasing, we put the water maker together and refit it back in its place. The noise was gone, but now we had a small water leak from the hardest to reach fitting. The only way to get it fixed was to take the water maker out of its place and lightly send the olives and fitting. That fixed the leak and we're all good to go. After all this work, we enjoyed the good weather and the nice anchorage where we were at. In our next video, the good weather will be replaced by a storm. After the storm passed, Xiao and Leticia are taking us on an amazing hike. Thanks for watching!